All right, guys, this is it. The big one. I just got 30 pairs of shoes at one Goodwill. So pumped to show you guys the haul. I feel like I just left the bins, but I left a retail store. Five full bags of shoes, 30 pairs, and one pair of Miss Me jeans. Hey guys, what's up? You already saw the haul. You've seen kind of what I uh, was working with at the Goodwill. I'm so pumped to share this video with you guys because this is the most money I've ever spent at a Goodwill, whether it was the bins or a retail store. This is the most money I think I've ever spent thrifting, sourcing, anything like that. So this was kind of a big move for me because I normally like to go in, get a couple pairs you know, of shoes or find a couple of nice things to resell, but there were so many good things that were coming out of the store that I just had to keep picking them up. So let's go over the haul. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. All right, so here's a quick kind of just overview of everything I got. You'll have to excuse some of the stuff in the background. I have a smaller house, but either way, um, I just started pulling them out of the bag. So they're not really organized by category or brand or anything like that, but we'll just start over here. I got some really nice Miss Me jeans and uh, these were just Really good condition, no rips or tears. There's the model, the boot cut, whatever. These are like somewhere between 40 to 50 bucks potentially. So really excited about that. And then we'll just start here. I got some Asics. These are gel Nimbus 19s, or I'm sorry, 17s on this model. I think I got a pair of gel Nimbus 19s. But the 17s, um, I think the lowest pair of shoes profit-wise that I went for, other than two pairs of flip-flops, is gonna be about 30 bucks but a lot of them are gonna be higher in the 40 to $50 range and some of them even higher. So we'll go through them. Uh, these are some Nike initiators right here, like almost brand new, good Lord. These things are super clean and you can see, I'll show you guys the prices that I paid per shoe. So that one's $5.99. Here's a pair of dance goes. There's one flaw right there, but I think I can still sell them. These are some type of like, um, um, I can't remember what this pattern's called, like a space pattern or something like that. Uh, but the, there's only one pair brand new on eBay for like 180 bucks. So I'm thinking that that's going to be like an easy 50, $60 sale paid $9 for those. These ones need a little bit of love in the back. I didn't really notice this till I got to the register, um, that it was kind of deformed right there, but I think, whoops, I think I can fix that with a shoe tree. These are really nice Nike Pegasus 31s, uh, for women in the hot pink. So I'm hoping I can fix that and reshape it. These gray anatomy, kind of like dance goes right here. I looked these up and prices are kind of all over the place, but I didn't see this one. It has like that almost like nylon mesh type material. Uh, so I should be able to do pretty good on those. Got some Keen sandals right here. Um, I didn't even look up comps because I know Keens do well. So for six bucks, I picked those up all day. Some smaller Air Max 270s. They're a little bit worn, um, but they looked good on the bottom and there was no like rips or tears. As far as, you know, inside or anything, there's just a little fade on the Air Max, uh, or the Air 270 part right there. Um, but those are like $180 brand new. So that should do good. Some more Asics. This was a really cool pair right here. Mizuno Wave Runner or Wave Vipers. These are like $175 new or something like that. Something crazy. Um, again, just really good condition. And these were $5 and I should be able to get about 75 bucks for those. Here's two pairs of Vionics. Uh, I took a chance on these. I've never sold them before, but I've seen a couple other people on Instagram that have listed them. These are both the same size, literally look like they've never been worn. Um, and so obviously there's a little bit of wear, but they just look really clean. So I'm gonna list them both like as a lot of two since they're the same size. Hopefully get a hundred bucks for both pairs. These were some Tommy Hilfiger flats. These are, um, I have to, look up the model again, but uh, these ones are like $100 brand new. Um, so I'm thinking that this is gonna be an easy 30, 40 bucks. I got some Nike slides for three bucks, couldn't say no. Some Speedo flip flops for $1.99. Swimmers love having stuff like that for when they're you know at their team um, swim meets and stuff. I got a really nice pair of DC skate shoes. This is probably one of the ones I paid up for. Yeah, $8.99. Um, I've sold DCs in the past. I mean, they need a little bit of like cleaning of the dirt on the bottom, but I mean, look at that grip. They just look like they've hardly ever been used. And black is a really great color to sell. 
uh, no rips or tears. I'm thinking that those are $40, $50 all day. If you follow me on Instagram, I shared these two right here, Nike Epic React Fly Knits, and then these are Adidas Crazy Explosive Lows. Um, those were both about $5.99 each, and I should be able to get somewhere between $40 to $60 per. Uh, I got some Saucony shoes right here. These ones are missing the soles, uh, insoles, but I've sold them before like that. These are the Guide 10s. They're like another $50, $60 pair of shoes. This is a pair of uh, Brooks, I believe. Yeah, Brooks Adrenaline 9. Um, and they looked really good, really clean. So I picked those up. And here we got some women's uh, Downshifter 7s. These are like $60 shoes. Got some Nike, uh, which ones are these? The Air Max Feas. Those are like $60, $70 shoes. Let me come around here. I'm just like, I'm so excited, guys, if you can't tell. Um, these are some Nike Flex Trainer 7s. Um, just super clean. I mean, look at this. So uh, those are $60, $70 shoes most likely. And then I got a couple pairs of a Asics Gel Excites. These are the cheaper ones, but they sell quick. Asics are a great brand. Here's the Asics Nimbus 18s. Again, really clean. Like a lot of these, I don't even have to clean them, which is why I kept buying them. Normally you have to clean shoes that I get from the bins and stuff. Here's um, Asics Gel Rides. These are um, Nimbus uh, somethings, I believe. Um, but again, just another great pair, six bucks. Uh, coming back over here, I got these Nike Flyknit, uh, or Flywire, I'm sorry, Florida Gator shoes. They've got the Florida Gator on the inside right there. And these are just really cool shoes. Um, someone at UF would love to have these for training, for running, for just repping the school, whatever. Great size, seven bucks. This was something that's new to me also, Skechers Go Golf, okay? Uh, and these are in excellent condition. Again, um, they just need to be wiped off with a magic racer on the top because they're a little dirty, but they're because they're white. But I mean, these are selling for like $100 brand new. So probably another $40, $50 sale right there. These are some Air Jordans. I don't know the model, um, but you can look it up right there. Or if you're into shoes, you probably know what these are, but they're super expensive. Again, I just couldn't believe it. Um, but they're just in really good shape. No rips or tears. Um, if you don't follow Rinzi uh, on YouTube, their in name is on Instagram is Rinzi now, R-N-Z-Y. I've learned a lot about shoes from them, especially cleaning, no rips or tears, looking at the bottoms, really how to source shoes. So all their tips have like really helped me with this sourcing trip. So those were a great find. And then these were a pair of Skechers Elite. They actually say something else too, I believe. Um, Skechers I don't know, Elite something. Mem these are memory foam also. I paid six bucks for these. And the black ones, there's none of them on eBay right now. And uh, some of them are selling for 45 to $50. So, I mean, honestly, guys, almost everything here is average about 40 to 50 bucks. Um, I'm thinking that the average sale price on this whole lot is probably gonna be, you know, 40 to $50 because I have a couple of low ones and I'll have a couple of high ones that'll balance it out. And then last but not least, this is the pair I paid the most for, these boots right here. Um, I've never heard of them. I don't know anything about them, except I looked up the name and they looked pretty spicy to me. So these are called, if it'll focus, the Effington, E-F-F, or Effingham, I'm sorry, E-F-F-I-N-G-H-A-M, 200L boots. So these are selling anywhere from like 60 to $120. And these are in really, really good condition. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to list them somewhere around a hundred bucks and see what happens. But uh, I'm just really excited, you guys. This is my biggest haul ever as far as shoes are concerned. And um, I just am so excited because I'm really just trying to step out of my comfort zone, up my game a little bit. And this is really how I'm going to do that. So, yeah. So all in all, I spent $206.58 on all 30 of these pairs, not including the jeans. I paid $7 for the jeans, but that is an average buy cost of $6.88 per pair of shoes. And that is really insane guys for shoes, at least from what I know and what I see. If you're not sourcing at the bins, it doesn't get much better than that for good quality shoes that you don't have to clean. So just wanted to share the numbers with you guys there. If I did, you know, 30 times, let's just say 50 as an average sale price, you're looking at $1,500 for a $200 investment. If it's $40, that's $1,200. If it's $30, that's $900 for a $200 investment. If I sold every pair of shoes 
for $30 and I know I'll sell them for more. So really excited. Sorry that my beard is a mess and I look like a fool. It's been pouring rain. I was helping my family at an estate sale today for my grandfather. And then I went sourcing for a little bit again, which I'm just so excited about you guys. This is like the stuff that, you know, um, sounds corny, but dreams are made of for me, like this kind of stuff, finding this many shoes for five, six bucks each is just insane. Most people will tell you Goodwill will sell shoes for like 10 to 12 to $16 a pair. And I was able to get, you know, so many of the, every single pair, except one under $10 and most of them under $6. So I'm just really excited to get to work. I don't have a lot of cleaning to do either. They're all in really great shape. So that's another huge benefit. Um, if you guys have any questions about sourcing or shoes or listing, almost every single pair of shoe here that you see, I looked up the number on the inside of the tag, Nike, Asics, all of them. I threw back probably 10 pairs at everything that I got, but most of them were really solid today. So, you know, this is just great. I really don't have a lot of cleaning or magic eraser to do. So I'm gonna get to work. I'm like out of breath because I'm so excited. But if you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this little haul video as much as I enjoyed finding them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace money.